Hey what is up guys it is me Flavio here back with another Mafia City video and in this video I'm gonna give you a basic idea of what all you should consider before getting or upgrading your vigilantes. This video will help you decide which vigilantes you wanna get and how far you wanna upgrade them. At the time of making this video there are 15 vigilantes in total in the game and since new vigilantes are added almost every month in the game I'll be making separate videos for a detailed breakdown of each vigilante. But in this video, I'm going to give you a general idea about what I consider necessary for deciding whether or not to purchase or upgrade a vigilante. But before doing that, I think it is important for you to understand the different types of vigilante skills, so let's talk about the skills first. There are two different ways of classifying vigilante skills. The first way to classify them is based on whether or not they can be upgraded. There are upgradable skills which can be upgraded using vigilante fragments to increase their effectiveness and there are non-upgradable skills which cannot be upgraded with vigilante fragments. The other way of classifying vigilante skills is to classify them based on whether or not you are required to use the vigilante in your march to activate those skills. Active skills are the skills that require to use a specific vigilante in your march for the skill to work, and passive skills are the skills that are permanently activated once they're unlocked regardless of whether or not you use a vigilante in your march. Basically what you want to do is you want to unlock all the passive skills that improve your battle stats and maximize the level of these skills if they're upgradable so you can get a permanent stat increase from doing so. You would also want to upgrade one vigilante with good active skills all the way up to 5 stars which you can use as your main vigilante for attacks. Currently I'm working on Fire Lord as my main attack vigilante because of his 5 star skill that increases troop attack by 25% at max level. If you don't like Fire Lord, you could use another Vigilante as your main Vigilante, it's totally up to you who you want to use. As far as Vigilante packs are concerned, the first $5 pack always gives you the best value. So the most cost effective way of upgrading your Vigilantes would be to purchase the $5 Vigilante packs daily and then wait for the next day for the pack cost to reset. Once you unlock all the passive skills for a specific Vigilante, you can stop purchasing packs for that Vigilante unless you want to use it as your main Vigilante. For Ethan and Suri, the pack cost never reset, so it's going to cost you a lot more than normal vigilantes to upgrade these vigilantes. Now let's see how many fragments you require to upgrade vigilantes. So unlocking a vigilante requires 300 fragments, then you need 600 fragments to upgrade it to 2 stars, then 1500 more fragments for 3 stars, you need 3000 more fragments after 3 stars to get your vigilante to 4 stars, and finally you need 4500 fragments after 4 stars to get your vigilante to 5 stars. So you require a total of 9,900 fragments to upgrade a Vigilante from 0 to 5 stars. So for Vigilantes like Angie, Bruce, and Paul whose $5 packs give you 450 fragments each, you'll have to spend at least $110 to upgrade each of them to 5 stars. For Vigilantes like Marcus, Izumi, and Caesar whose $5 packs give you 400 fragments each, you'll need to spend at least $125 to upgrade each of them to 5 stars. For Vigilantes like Fire Lord and Wendy, whose $5 packs give you only 300 fragments each, you'll need to spend at least $165 to upgrade each of them to 5 stars. But that's not the end. After upgrading a Vigilante to 5 stars, you would also want to purchase more fragments to upgrade their upgradable skills, if any. Now I'm gonna quickly go over each of my Vigilantes and tell you how far you should upgrade them. For Angie, you want to get her to 4 stars for a passive 20% bulker attack. If you're setting Rage for your clan, you might also want to consider getting Angie to 5 stars for more raid capacity. For Fire Lord, you may stop upgrading him once you get him to 2 stars since his last 3 skills are all active skills, but if you want to use him as your main vigilante, then you should go all the way up to 5 stars. For Bruce, you want to stop at 3 stars for the passive 20% bulker defense. For Marcus, you want to stop at 3 stars as well to unlock all his passive skills. For Andrew, you want to get him to 4 stars for 10% vehicle defense. For Paul, you may stop at 2 stars to unlock both his passive battle skills, but if you want to unlock his 10% crime op speed increase as well, you could go all the way up to 4 stars. For Tracy, you want to upgrade her to 5 stars to get the 15% shooter attack increase. For Ethan, since the packs do not reset, you can go up to 2 stars for 10% shooter defense, but if you want to unlock his second passive skill as well, you could go all the way up to 4 stars for 10% shooter attack, but that's going to cost you a lot more than upgrading other vigilantes to 4 stars. For Wendy, you'd want to stop at 2 stars if you're not using her as your main vigilante. 
For Suri, there's absolutely no need to unlock her since she does not give any passive battle stats. The only reason why I have her unlocked is for this 30% cash gathering speed buff which helps a lot during the gathering event. For Melvin, you want to get him to 4 stars for his passive 10% shooter attack, and if you're setting raids for your clan, you might also want to consider getting him to 5 stars for more raid capacity. Catalina isn't very important as she doesn't give any battle stats, however, having her at 1 star at least is good for increasing your energy recovery speed. For Adriana, you want to upgrade her to 5 stars to get more hospital capacity. For Izumi, you want to upgrade her all the way up to 5 stars to get that passive 20% biker attack increase. And finally, for Caesar, you want to get him all the way up to 5 stars as well to get that passive 20% enemy biker attack reduction skill. So those were all the 15 vigilantes that are currently in the game. I'll be making more detailed videos on each in the future, but for now, that's all I have for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see you in the next one.